messaggio che è etico prima di tutto, non bisogna partire, non bisogna esporre oltretutto donne e bambini. Perché le parole del ministro degli interni, piantedosi, non fanno onore. Guys, what is good? What is popping? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy official and in today's video we are going to be looking at how Abu Bakr Sumoro is blasting and attacking the interior minister of Italy after the interior minister of Italy who is Matteo Piantedosi gave out a speech where he was blaming immigrants who died in Calabria to be precise, Crotone. This man is saying these immigrants are the cause of their own death. Guys, it's not easy at all. If today is your first time watching me, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and be part of the family and please try to watch the video till end. And before I even start the video, congratulations to Nigerian president-elect Tinibu. Congratulations to you, Mr. Tinibu. And now, let's move on to the main reason why we are here today. As I said before, Abu Bakr Sumoro is blasting the interior minister of Italy. And it is not only Abu Bakr Sumoro. A lot of Italians are giving blame to this interior minister after a speech that he made that these immigrants are the people who caused their own death. What he is saying is that in the first place, you don't have to come to Italy through Lampa Lampa. If you make your mind that you want to pass through Lampa Lampa, then what happens to these immigrants in Calabria, Crotone, that is the same thing that is going to happen to you. Now, a lot of people are angry because this incident that happens could have been prevented. They could have saved these immigrants' lives because before the incident happened, the next morning, that evening, they said the Frontex notified Italian authorities that there is a boat on top of the Mediterranean Sea and it is in the Italian territory. This one, it was in the Italian territory. These immigrants were not in international waters, neither they were in Turkey waters because they pushed them from Turkey, immigrants from Afghanistan, immigrants from Pakistan, and immigrants from Iran. And these immigrants are running out of war. So in the first place, you were supposed to save them and if you would deport them back, you deport them back but you couldn't save them here we are talking about human beings life the prime minister who is georgia meloni came out and she was sharing her condolences although i know that this woman was not meaning it but this interior minister don't want to show his condolences but rather giving the blame to this immigrant who will know that i'm going to die and the person will put his life and go and die in this life some people prefer to die during their struggle that i want to get this thing if i die through that thing I want it because that is what I want to achieve, but I will not sit down and die. In fact, this interior minister is not saying any words of encouragement. And you know, the whole thing was planned. The whole thing was planned because this government doesn't like immigrants. So they are just doing something so that people who want to come to Italy will know that they will not, if you come, they will not save you. Because before the incident happened, that very night, the Frontex alerted Italian authority. That is the Guardia Costiera. That is the Italian Coast Guide. And you cannot tell me that so far as they were in Italian territory, you are not seeing them. So let's say if they were carrying bomb, wouldn't have the Coast Guide see them, but they pretended like they did not see them. Everything was arranged. They were saying the weather is not good. And if you are a Coast Guide, they have trained you whether the weather is not good or whether the weather is good, you have to go and save human beings' life. In fact, as they are saying that the weather was not good, it was a fisherman who started saving this immigrant's life. It was a fisherman who started saving this immigrant's life. So the coast guy sat down and they said, no, since this fisherman is saving this immigrant's life, we need to go. And they also go and intervene. So you know, everything was planned. They just wanted these immigrants to die and the Italians will know that they are the best government. But this doesn't make you a best government in terms of human beings life. This is human beings life we are talking about. It may be your child. It may be your daughter. So can't you give a word of encouragement? You just came out and you are saying that in the first place, no one should embark on the journey. As if like everybody understand Italian language. Forgetting that your language that you are speaking, it is Italian. No one is hearing you. No one is understanding you. If not, some of us that we always try to translate for our people. If someone is in, in Turkey, if someone is in Libya, if someone is in Tunisia, how will the person know that this is what the interior minister is saying, that we shouldn't even embark on the journey because they will not save us? First of all, you are saying the NGOs shouldn't go and save immigrants' life again. And then the Coast Guide, which is the Italian one too, they have seen the incident and they have pretended like they did not see anything. Guys, let's go and watch the speech of the Italian Interior Minister Matteo Piantadose after the incident happened. Let's watch the speech. Let's watch what he said. 
Quindi è un tema di grande complessità. L'unica vera cosa che va detta, affermata e raccontata non devono partire. Cioè immaginare che ci siano alternative eh, come dire, da mettere sullo stesso piano, no? poi le possibilità di salvare, non salvare, fare... al fatto che quando si è in queste condizioni non bisogna partire. Se noi non lanciamo al mondo, al mondo che diciamo anche del, 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 dei territori da cui partono queste persone, questo messaggio che è etico prima di tutto, non bisogna partire, non bisogna esporre oltretutto donne e bambini, oltre che chiunque sia, alle condizioni di pericolo, cioè facciamo sempre operazioni di, 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 di subordinate che poi non trovano senso. Comunque detto questo, la risposta alla domanda è questo, poi sarà ricostruito, ma questo è, è sta nella complessità delle condizioni che poi sono quelle che si sono rivelate tragicamente fatali. Le istituzioni che sono intervenute, il ribaltamento, la distruzione è avvenuta per uno spiaggiamento, per, una, per un incaglio eh, in una secca. Quindi questo testimonia... La... I hope you have seen the video and after that Abu Bakar Ismoro together with many people they are saying that this interior minister need to come and answer some questions. Why is it that the Guardia Costiera, that is the Italian Coast Guide, did not go and save the immigrants' life after they alerted them 10 o'clock in the evening till the next morning that this incident happened. Let's watch that video too when we are back we'll give you the rest of the update. So stay. Onorevole colleghi, nella notte tra sabato 25 febbraio e domenica 26 febbraio, 64 esseri umani, tra cui 14 bambini, compresi neonati, sono morti in Calabria. E il loro viaggio della speranza, o il viaggio alla ricerca della vita, non era un viaggio da irresponsabili. Perché le parole del Ministro degli Interni, Piantedosi, non fanno onore alla nostra Repubblica e non fanno onore a chi in questo Paese sa cosa vuol dire la disperazione e quella stessa disperazione li ha portati alla ricerca della vita, la possibilità del pane in altri contesti. Voglio qui unirmi alle famiglie che hanno perso il dolore alle famiglie che hanno perso i loro cari, ma non posso non concludere, signor Presidente, dicendo che vogliamo sapere cosa è davvero successo a partire dal momento che l'Agenzia Frontex ha segnalato la presenza di quella imbarcazione. I hope you have seen the video, so that is Abu Bakari Sumoro for you, and that is what the Interior Minister is saying concerning this incident that happens in Calabria. Until we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and stay blessed. Peace out.